Hi, I'm Fred Schultz, and I'm running for president. I want to talk the big banks for a minute. Bernie is very right that um, the big banks have gotten out of control. But it's not just the big banks. It's all these institutions that can borrow multiples, these investment banks that can borrow so high, they can leverage so high. That's the problem. Before the last crash, um, they... Hank Paulson, who later on became tr the Treasury Secretary, when he was the head of Goldman Sachs, he lobbied to raise the borrowing limit from the in, for the investment banks from 15 times to 45 times. So, in other words, if you borrowed, um, if, if if you were if you're if you're leveraged up 45 times, and you lose just a few percentage points, and and the, and your overall um, investments go down just a few percentage points, you've lost all of your capital. You're, you're already below zero. So that is the big, that is the simple solution. Not simple, but it's, 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 the, it's, it's as close as we can get to a magic bullet, which is lowering the leveraging limits. Now, um, how low should we make them? I would want to make them at least as low as they used to be, 15 times, or maybe 10 times, maybe even three times. I mean, I don't... That's the way to limit systemic risk. I would have to discuss this with Paul Krugman, professor and Nobel laureate Paul Krugman, who I do want to make in put in charge of the Fed, Federal Reserve, God willing. Um, and by the way, this recent... And, and overall, I want to have the Federal Reserve much more... I want to have much more control over it because they have, they have such control over our economy and they are... Um, what's the way to put it? They are gaming the system to only help... Well, to help more big money than your average person. This is about trying to help big money, not trying to help your average person. So I fully intend to rein in the Fed, but simply by hopefully changing how the Fed governors are appointed, um, having, letting, hopefully having the president have much more control. But, um, and as far as Bernie's idea about breaking up the big banks, and which was also Elizabeth Warren's, I mean, yes, they're right. It's a very good idea, and it will limit systemic risk, but it's not, gonna, it's not going to bring us any prosperity. Actually, it'll, it's not going to even take away their power. I mean, when you break up um, a monopoly, usually the smaller pieces eat, just like with Standard Oil, the smaller pieces grow to be huge. So it's not really going to necessarily limit their power that much anyway. So, but all it really does is limit systemic risk. But we do have to totally get money out of politics. There's no question about that. And the, obviously we should have campaign spending limits, but it's, it goes much deeper than that. I, I think we should have free airtime for every candidate. I, I, think all, I think we should have free airtime for every candidate, just like they do in Brazil. And that would go a long ways towards making... Um, a, a much more of a democracy Be, when you have free airtime for everyone that is wonderful and that's what we should be doing before every election state, federal um, president congress mayor, whatever we should have TV for candidates now how much of look, we own these airways the people own these airways the fact that they are given to the highest bidder is a political decision and, it was a, and it's a wrong political decision so what is my solution? I think it's fair to say half and half I, say, I think it's fair to say that half of the airtime should go towards commercial ventures and half of the airtime should go towards candidates who are trying to fix things that would be a good solution now, as far as ending gerrymandering, I have a very simple solution that does not rely on racial anything, or as there's no such thing as race. My solution is very simple. You simply have a computer redraw the district lines every election, randomly, based only on population size of district. So, however the chips fall, they fall, and then next election, Reset the computer, have, have them reshuffle the districts, and then another vote. And then, same thing, next election, reshuffle, reshuffle the districts, another vote. That'll 
lead us much more towards a pure democracy. Now, really, we have to end the Electoral College also, because that has been a way to subvert our democracy very much the last several elections. The popular vote was not the way that the Electoral College vote went. So, obviously, we should shift to a system that simply goes with the popular vote. Well, okay, those are all the proposals. There you have it. I love you very much. Um, thank you, and please vote for Fred. I'm a write-in right now, but it's um, Frederick Schultz, Esquire for President. Please, please, we can be free again and prosperous and safe, just as our founders intended. We'll re-legalize freedom. Okay, love you so much. Thank you. Please vote for Fred. Love you all. Thank you. All my love. Peace.